In this tutorial, you will learn how to add boundaries and break lines while creating a surface and how to shift it. You will also learn how to add an expansion factor into a volume calculation. In this exercise, we built the next layers of the planned parking lot on the area we leveled out in the video how to create surfaces and calculate volumes. The parking lot will be L shaped, the boundary is made of curbs, and there will be two sewage covers. To guarantee the water flow on the surface, we will add brake lines from the edge points to the sewage covers. From the home menu, we access the volumes application. The map shows the current state of the construction site. After the area was leveled out, a layer of gravel was built on it, including the curbs. A new surface was created and saved as subgrade.trm. The next step is to build a layer of gravel within the curbs. As this area is slightly smaller than the subgrade, we will create a new surface. First, we will measure the inner side of the curbs and create the boundary. Second, we will measure the sewage covers and add brake lines between these points and the edge points. Third, we will shift the created surface down and on top a layer of asphalt will finalize the parking lot. We open the toolbox and select New Surface. We tap on the boundary button from the toolbar. We measure the inner side of the curbs around the parking lot and connect the points with lines. We tap on OK. As the next step, we define the brake lines from the edge points to the two sewage covers. We imagine splitting the parking lot into two rectangles. In each of them, in the middle, a sewage is built. We tap on the brake lines button from the toolbar. We select one edge point, measure the sewage cover's middle point, and select the other edge point. As we cannot create the brake line in one piece, we must define a new start point. In the toolbar, we tap on the Select Start Point button. We select the next edge point, then the sewage cover point, and the last edge point of this rectangle. We repeat these steps for the second sewage cover. We select one edge point, measure the sewage cover, and select the other edge point. Then we stop the brake line creation by choosing a new start point and select the missing edge point. In this rectangle, we also create two brake lines to the middle points on the long sides of the rectangle. We tap on OK to set the brake lines and on OK to create the surface. As the next step, we open the toolbox and select Shift Surface. The toolbar provides three input fields for shifting into the east and north direction and in height. In this exercise, we shift the surface 10 cm down, as this will be the thickness of the asphalt layer. We tap on OK and save the new surface as gravel layer. The subgrade and gravel layer we use to calculate the amount of material between these two layers. We select the subgrade surface from the map. We open the toolbox and select Calculate Volume. We tap on Surface to Surface. As the existing surface, the subgrade is selected, and as the design surface, we choose the gravel layer. We get a result of approximately 153 cubic meter for this parking lot. The gravel in the truck is loosened, whereas when it is built as a layer, it will be compacted. The result of the volume calculation shows the compacted volume. To calculate the loosened volume, we have to add an expansion factor. In this exercise, we set the expansion factor to 10%, which means we have to order approximately 168 cubic meter of gravel. We tap on OK to finish and store the volume calculation. 
A report of this volume calculation could be created to hand it over to the construction manager, but will not be shown in this video. For further information, please watch how to create surfaces and calculate volumes. We export the surface to Connex to a predefined destination, where it can be taken from a greater machine control solution to build the final layer. That's it. You have learned how to create boundaries and break lines and how to shift a surface. Furthermore, you have learned to add an expansion factor into the volume calculation.